In this video, I quickly want to show you how I manage bookmarks in macOS. The tool that I use is called Raindrop. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to type hyper RJ on my keyboard. That's just something that I configured. You don't need to do that. I'll let you know why and how I did that in a minute. So notice that I have here search bookmarks using raindrop.io operators. And I have some sections here, as you can see on the top right corner, all bookmarks. I have other collections here. Like we could say there are different folders that I can go to, but by default, I'm in this all bookmark section. So let's say, for example, that I need to go to one of my bookmarks. I'm just going to type part of the name here, XOA, for example. I'm going to hit enter, and that is automatically going to open the bookmark in my browser. Notice that I have here three files open. One of them is my dot files latest. Let me open another bookmark, hyper RJ, and I'm just going to type part of it, DOT space LAT. It recognizes this. Notice the name of this bookmark. Just going to hit enter, and it takes me to my dot files latest directory. It didn't recognize that it was open here already. I remember that with a different browser, it did recognize that it was open, and it didn't open it again. I don't remember if that was with Chrome or Safari, but at least with Zen Browser, it always opens the bookmark multiple times, even if it's already open. Let's try one more that I use regularly. Hyper RJ, that's the key map. And let's say that I want to go to this Lazy Vim Merging Rules site. I even have it bookmarked. Just hit enter there, and it's going to take me to the site. I switched from Chrome to this new browser called Zen Browser, which is based off of Firefox. So far, I've been liking it very much. I released a video two days ago. If you want to learn more about Zen, go and check this video out. I explain stuff in detail there. So when I press Hyper RJ, what is this menu that shows up? Is this part of Raindrop or is it something else? Notice at the top left corner, it says Raycast. So this is a Raycast extension that calls Raindrop. Why? Because it just makes it easier for me to navigate the bookmarks. I can search really quickly and get to the bookmark that I want. Otherwise, if I wouldn't use this Raycast extension, I would need to open the Raindrop app. Let me show that to you real quick. I'm just going to type here Hyper G and I look for Raindrop. Here it is. This is the app for Mac OS, the desktop app. But the way that I installed the app is through Brew. You can see here Brew List, Raindrop, and here here is the app installed. If you don't know what Brew is, if you don't know how to install multiple apps, I have a couple videos. They're quite old. These were my first videos. The quality is not the best. But here, for example, you can learn how to install multiple apps with Brew. The content is still relevant, so I would highly recommend you to check these two videos out. Okay, so let me first go over the application itself. Here's where you have all the different bookmarks. Notice that I have different collections here on the left hand side. Vernetti's, these are just bookmarks. Tucker, personal, recent. This is basically where I dump everything nowadays. So you can have different collections and you can have your different bookmarks here. How do you add new bookmarks? You could do it here in the add button, but personally, I don't think that's very intuitive. The way that I add bookmarks to this thing is in the browser directly. I come here to Zen Browser. You're going to notice that I have an extension here shown here on the top right corner. It's this one. When you click on it, it's going to ask you to sign in. Once you sign in, you get access to all your bookmarks from here and you can also add new bookmarks. How do you add new bookmarks? Let's go to this Firefox News site, Firefox.org. Now I'm going to click here, this little icon. And if I click on this button, Firefox News, I just choose where I want to store the bookmark and sort it. Or if I want to store it here under personal reasons, just going to leave it here and unsort it. You can add more words. You can also change this so that you can easily search for bookmarks in Raindrop. So once you're done modifying here, Firefox test, for example, it automatically saves. Notice that it did automatically. So you just exit out of here and that's it. If I go to Raindrop right now, hyper RJ, I look for Firefox news. Here's the bookmark. I do it directly from the browser using the extension, but you can also do it directly from the Raindrop app itself. I come here to unsort it. Firefox news. I don't need this. I'm just going to delete it. Notice that they have a pro version. Here it says upgrade to pro and you get more features. Let's click here and learn more. I don't know why dark mode is not working. So I'm sorry about this, but it just does not recognize it. Not sure what's going on. So let's get out of here then. So it seems they have other features. This app is not only used for bookmarks. You can also use it for notes, highlights, links, articles, as you see here on this left hand side. I only use it for bookmarks. That's it. But it provides a lot more features. How do you integrate it with Raycast? Let's take a look. Just going to bring up Raycast. Just going to go to the settings here. And if I come here to extensions, let me click here. Let me see under extensions, there must be one whole raindrop. Here it is. You just specify the access token here. Notice that this is your raindrop.io access token. I have this checked. Use always the last selected collection. Display date, last updated. And then here, there's not much to configure.
All right, so looking through my old notes that I took when I installed Raindrop, I don't know, a year ago maybe, or a little bit more, notice here that the free account doesn't allow you to create nested collections. Here is the command if you want to install it through Brew. Notice that you can export your bookmarks from whichever browser you want and import them to Raindrop.io. So before you export them, organize them the way that you want to have them, export them, and then import them to Raindrop. I left a note here that if you need to modify folders in Raindrop in the future, I think in the free version, it does not allow you to do that. So you can export them from Raindrop, modify them in Brave, export them back from Brave, then import them back to Raindrop. I don't know if that's still the case, but you can check that out and see if this works for you or not. Here is the integration with Raycast. Notice that you don't need to install the app, the desktop app, but I did it because it's easier to manage stuff in that app. So here are the instructions in Raindrop. Go to profile settings, integrations. Let's give that a try. So if we come here to Raindrop and we click here and we click on settings and then we click on integrations and here's where you have to click on create new app. Notice that I already have this Raycast. I'm just going to click here. Name. I'm just going to give it a name here. Raycast test gonna click here accept create let's see what else do we have here create test token so if i click here on the app and here it is create test token are you sure okay here is the test token you don't need to enter any other details grab that test token that was generated copy it and notice that we need to paste it in raycast which is what we had here if i come here to the settings and uh, access token here's where you need to paste that so just let me exit out of here i'm going to go to raindrop again i'm just going to delete this and i'm going to delete this test token delete recast test and i'm back to normal you're also going to notice if i come here to the settings again that i don't have any hotkeys configured here i don't call raindrop with a raycast hotkey i do it directly from another tool which is called carabiner let me show that to you real quick i have a mapping here so if i press hyper te and i'm gonna bring up this carabiner dash rules emac session and file and if i look for raycast here let's see what we find raycast here you're going to notice that i have several different mappings for raycast one of them is raindrop so if i type hyper rj on my keyboard raindrop shows up so for example if i type the other one that you see here hyper rk you're going to notice that this google search shows up so if i search for something in here let's search for raycast for example it automatically searches this in google and opens it as a new tab and the reason that i do this is because i have a lot of key maps in mac os not only this one for the letter r but if i go up you're going to notice that i have some other key maps for the letter e as well i have some some other ones for the letter T. These are my TMOC sessions. I have some other ones for the letter A. So this is how I switch between all the different applications. So for example, if I type hyper AK jumps to the browser, hyper AJ jumps to the ghost D terminal, which is this one and is the one shown on the screen right now. If you want to learn more about advanced keyboard mappings, these are just the basics. I have way more stuff. You can check this video out. I go over everything in detail there, how to modify system settings. So if you want to learn how I basically do everything using key maps, go and check this video out. Let me quickly show you my browsers so you can see that I don't have any bookmarks configured here. This is in if I type command B. The bookmarks bar is empty. I don't have anything in here because I manage all of them through Raindrop. The same thing, for example, if I come here to Google Chrome, it's going to bring up the bookmarks bar. Notice that it's empty as well. There's nothing there. It's going to hide it again. It's going to quit out of here. And if I bring up, for example, Safari, you're going to notice that I don't have any bookmarks there as well. Something else that is nice about Raindrop is that they have a mobile app. Let me show that to you real quick. I'm just going to stop my camera for a minute. I'm just going to type Hyper 8. Notice that my camera was hidden. Now I'm going to bring up my phone here, iPhone mirroring. And notice that here is the Raindrop app on the iPhone. So I don't need to have bookmarks on my phone at all. I can manage my bookmarks the exact same way. And I can go to each one of these sites by using the Raindrop app on the phone, which is pretty useful to be honest. So the main benefit I would say of Raindrop is that I don't have to worry about bookmarks on any of my browsers anymore. Doesn't matter if I switch to a new browser a few days from now, I don't care. I just use Raindrop. I don't need to be exporting, importing bookmarks. All I need to do is sign into Raindrop and all my bookmarks are there. Same thing if I switch to another computer, sign into Raindrop, install the extension and all my bookmarks are there. If you're a NeoVim fan like I am, I think there's a plugin that allows you to navigate your bookmarks from NeoVim. I think this is the one, this browser bookmarks.nvim. Let me click on it. Let me go to the main page here, 200 stars. Open your browser bookmarks right from the editor. I'm not sure if this is the one that I looked at a few days ago. I haven't installed it. I haven't tried it, but it seems that it's compatible with different browsers and it's also compatible with raindrop.io. I haven't tried it. So if you have tried it, let me know how it works, if you like it or not, or if there's any other NeoVim plugin that can be used. Also, 
if there's any other alternatives to Raindrop, let me know because I'm interested in always learning new things, find out new tools. So if there's something better out there, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I basically covered everything. Hope you find this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.